Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn rescues Steffi from the pen and Lee takes Luna down ahead of her arrest. Moment on the bold and the beautiful, Bill has good news for Poppy, Luna's taken into guardianship and Steffi returns home. In the apartment, Steffi tells herself she's okay now. She urges Finn to go after Luna. Finn assures her she won't get down. He has to get her to a sanitarium. Downward, Lee asks Luna where she thinks she's going. She hisses that Finn was right, it was you. You killed those men at I.L. Giardino, abducted Steffi Luna pushes her aunt, get out of my way. Lee informs her she's not going anywhere except captivity. At Bill's place, Katie heard that he and Will had a nice long converse this morning. No new family after all, I guess. Bill says no, not that he was thrilled about the prospect in the first place. Perhaps he and Luna can be musketeers. Katie points out that her mama scammed him and is in jail for murder, so it's not a great launch for a fellowship. Bill still can't wrap his mind around Poppy being able of murder. Katie knows he doesn't want to believe the woman he trusted could be a sanguine maniac, but the substantiation is inviting. Bill realizes that, but he's just not convinced. He's upset she could spend her life behind bars for commodity she didn't do, and is upset about what that will do to Luna. In the downward of the apartment structure, Luna scoffs that Lee wouldn't watch if Poppy spent her life behind bars, you detest her. Lee snaps that she most clearly does not. Luna says she's awful and was a horrible mama. She was on medicines half the time, bringing arbitrary men home, and no way watched about her needs. Luna eventually had the stability she wanted with Bill Spencer, and she wasn't about to give that up. Now, get out of my way. Lee gapes back, no. In the apartment, Finn worries about Steffi not having eaten or had anything to drink. He finds a sealed water bottle and gives it to her to drink while he works on the padlock and pen. Steffi says Luna has the key. Finn countries, we've got to get you out of then. Steffi chugs the water. Finn tries again, but can't free her. Steffi urges him to go find a crowbar or commodity, she'll be fine. Finn assures her he'll be back soon and takes off. At Bill's place, he tells Katie that he wants to remain a father figure to Luna, but she sees him else now. It's hard to explain, but the vibe just isn't the same. Just also, Bill gets a call from Justin. He listens and also exclaims, Are you serious? Has there been an arrest? He tells Justin to keep him posted and says he's going to head over there now as he wants to be the one to tell her. Decoupling, Bill tells Katie that he was right Poppy's innocent. She didn't kill Tom and Hollis. Katie frowns, confused. In the downward of the apartment structure, Luna shoves Lee and lays into her for not stepping in ahead. She always looked the other way knowing her mama was making terrible opinions. You could have made a difference, she cries. Do you indeed know how jealous I was of Finn and the life he had? Lee says she offered her mama plenitude of advice, which was ignored. Luna cries that she did what she had to do, starting with the phony maternity test. She scoffs that who knows if Tom Starr was indeed her father, there were so numerous campaigners. But she couldn't risk him coming forward and ruining effects with Bill. She laments having to kill poor Hollis as well. Lee says her mama might be a train wreck, but she's not a killer or kidnapper. How could you do that to your kinsman's woman? My grandson's mama Luna tries to barrel past her aunt, but Lee body slams her to the ground and intones, Nozawa power. Just also, Deputy Chief Baker arrives. Lee tells him, there's your killer. At Bill's place, Katie asks if he trusts Justin's contact. Bill says he's in the department. Katie can't believe that Poppy's innocent. Bill says they're heading over to arrest whoever's shamefaced right now. Katie urges him to go give Poppy the good news. In the downward of the structure, Baker has his officer poke the bond on Luna, as Lee declares that her bastard is the killer. Upstairs, Finn returns to the apartment with a pipe and breaks the padlock. He pulls Steffi out of the pen, and they embrace as she sobs. At the police station, Poppy's led into the visiting room. She asks why she's there. 
The guard says she'll find out soon enough. Bill arrives and tells Poppy he has news. Justin's contact gave him remarkable information and he's verified it. The police have restrained the person responsible for killing Tom and Hollis. You're being released. Poppy covers her face with her hands and heartbreaks, oh my god. She asks, they know I'm innocent. Bill confirms this, he knew deep down she wasn't able of that kind of violence. They embrace. Poppy asks, do you know who did it? The door opens and Baker comes by. They ask who killed those men. The officer leads Luna inside the room. Poppy tells Luna they know she's innocent. The caught the real killer. Luna remains silent. Poppy asks, baby, what's wrong? Luna gapes. At the precipice house, Finn carries Steffi through the door and sets her down. He wants to take her to the sanitarium, but she says that after the questioning and statement, she just wants to stay there and eat. Finn has arranged for the kitties to come and see her latterly. She thinks it's a good idea to stay a while. She insists she doesn't need to go to the sanitarium, she just wants to be there with him. She wasn't sure she'd ever have this again. Finn was allowing about her the whole time and hopes she felt that. Steffi did their connection helped her get through it. The one thing that gave her stopgap was that he'd come and deliver her. You set up me. Our love guided you to me. You really are my idol. They kiss and gawk into each other's eyes. Lee and Luna's showdown, Bill and Katie reconnect. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Thursday, September 5, 2024, are in. In Hereafter's occasion, suckers can anticipate Lee Finnegan to have a dramatic showdown with Luna Nazawa. John Finn Finnegan and Steffi Forrester Finnegan reunite. Plus, Bill Spencer and Katie Logan bandy how to break the news about Luna to Will Spencer. Keep reading to find out what's coming up in the coming occasion of the CBS Cleaner pieces. Steffi Forrester Finnegan saved. BNB spoilers for Thursday, September 5th, reveal that Finn and Steffi will continue their reunion. Suckers watched at the end of Wednesday's occasion when Finn questioned Luna, who wouldn't tell him anything. When Luna left, Finn followed her to the apartment. That's when Finn demurred down the door. BNB spoilers, Shin reunite. While Lee chased Luna, Finn went to Steffi. The pen is padlocked, so Finn and Steffi need to stay for bolt knives or for someone to find the key. In the meantime, Steffi and Finn will be thankful. Finn will want to get Steffi out of that pen and get her checked out at the sanitarium. Lee Finnegan's Dramatic Showdown The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Thursday, September 5th, reveal that when Finn demurred down the door, Lee was on her way there. Lee happened to see Finn and Steffi in the apartment, with the ultimate in a pen. Luna tried to shove Lee out of the way, but the good croaker gave chase. Ultimately, the chase led to the boiler room. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Lee and Luna's showdown, Bill and Katie reconnect. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Thursday, September 5, 2024 On Thursday, September 5, suckers can anticipate Luna to realize she's blocked in by a chain-link hedge. Lee is behind Luna and will probably demand answers. It's teased that Lee and Luna will have a dramatic showdown. It's clear that Luna won't give up without a fight. Luna veritably well might fight Lee to the death. Still, also she'll probably try to kill her aunt without for an eyelash, if Luna doesn't watch about framing her own mama for two murders. Still, Lee is a enough tough lady and we're laying that the police are about to show up. Which plot are you looking forward to seeing the most on Thursday, September 5, 2024? What are your prognostications for Steffi, Finn, Lee, and Luna? Will the villain end up in captivity, a body bag, or an internal institution? What happens, formerly Penelope Poppy Nozawa is released? Is RJ the most oblivious character on the show? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that RJ Forrester has got to be one of the most oblivious people in this fictional city of Los Angeles. That's because this entire time he hasn't noticed that his gal Luna has been acting like one of the most dangerous people around. Because stops face it, this woman has done enough to make Sheila Carter look like an angel in disguise in front of her. 
A lot of the bold and the beautiful suckers can't help but wonder what RJ is going to do when he finds out that his gal has killed two men, abducted his partial family and has been going around telling everyone that he's bad in bed. As numerous BMB observers presumably formerly know, Luna said that she prevaricated about being cured up on her mammy poppy's pints and that she actually did want to have coitus with Zend. The fact that she did this is horrible, seeing how Zend felt shamefaced for apparently taking advantage of Luna when she was under the influence. Or at least, everyone allowed. That she was under the influence. The bold and the beautiful spoilers what's next for RJ? Still, Luna really did show everyone that the L in her name stands for lunatic as she also killed Bill Spencer on the lips, if that weren't enough. Yes, the same Bill Spencer that she allowed was her natural father for the longest time. And while the proper thing to do would be to pull the draw on his relationship with Luna, there's a good chance that he might not do it. That's because he'll still be veritably confused and in need of some serious answers. That, or he might have a hard time falling out of love with her. This is a cleaner, after all.